it is now is being criticized for coaching children to pass exams instead of teaching them to think critically and solve problems. Experts say the structure of schooling focuses on content which will change as technology evolves. They say the fourth industrial revolution requires curriculums to change to teach kids to think critically to develop new products and solve the problems at hand. The fourth industrial revolution will change the way we live and work. It is an integration between the physical, digital and the biological spheres. It's been said it will require skilled workforce. The skills needed are critical thinking, creativity, complex problem solving skills and emotional intelligence among others. Let's move away from this isolation of subjects and definitely move away from the um, the coaching style of moving towards exams and let's do more um, project-based learning. Let's look at problems and ask our children how they would solve these problems and then give them the necessary support and empower them to find solutions on their own with the guidance of a facilitator like a teacher. The fourth industrial revolution will bring with it a rapid advancement of science and technology, which will require huge investments in technology. There are fears that this could widen inequalities and exacerbate social fragmentation. A research done by the, um, the World Economic Forum have shown that the fourth industrial revolution can actually create 133 million new uh, roles in the labor market. However, these roles will be limited uh, mainly to the tertiary sector, the, the, the more advanced sector, um, the sector where you find most of your professional services. Um, so South Africa sits with a major problem as we are an, unable to provide a workforce that is uh, able to not only be absorbed into the tertiary sector, but that will be able to be absorbed or be able to absorb the impact of the oncoming fourth industrial revolution. Van Yerden says there should be a collaboration between government and the private sector to ensure that the skills that are produced by the education system is what is needed in the workplace. Well, talk of the fourth industrial revolution and economies around the world needing to gear up for it continues and players in the education space are seized with this reality. Well, to get his take on what he sees as the key skills for the future or even now and what he's doing to facilitate that in his capacity, I'm joined in studio by Professor uh, Chilitsi Mawala. He's the Vice Chancellor at the University of Johannesburg. Thank you very much, Professor, for joining us. What do you see as some of the key new skills that are needed for the future or even now? Well, I think creativity is quite important. I think the skill to be able to view things systematically, uh, systems thinking is quite key. I think the ability to understand both society, the economy, and technology is actually a key skill that we need to teach in our students. Now, one of the things that um, the um, Minister of Basic Education said to the matrix when she made the matric announcement was that they must uh, ensure that as they go to tertiary learning that they, their learning is underpinned by their considerations of the fourth industrial revolution. So at university level, you, you're in charge of a university, what is it that you guys are doing to underpin people's traditional courses, say like medicine, engineering and so on, such that when they qualify they're relevant and adaptable to the workplace? Well, uh, the key strategy is to implement what we call multidisciplinary approach to teaching. Uh, what does this mean? It means that uh, those who are in the technology subjects must also take subjects in social sciences, in human sciences, and those who are in the human sciences must also take subjects in technology. You would, understand, you would uh, agree with me that uh, today you cannot be able to be a psychologist without actually the understanding of technology. Because uh, much of the tools that you need in order to be a good psychologist is actually a technological gadget mm. in one form or another. So multidisciplinary education is very, very key. Secondly, uh, problem-based teaching is very, very key. 
So when you are talking about a theory, it's always a good idea to obviously uh, 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 give the context. And the context must actually be local. I should be looking at problems that we are facing as a country and trying to solve those problems. Some of the things that you're talking to would require some of the skills development to have happened much earlier. And I'm sure from your perspective, it's always good to get learners in who have had a good grounding in terms of their early uh, childhood development. Um, so what, what are your feelings or views around government's rumored plans to teach all early learning children um, things like coding? Because one of my concerns, just observing what's going on, is that obviously you would need to get the reading and the writing in place mm. before you can even consider things like that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even be in a rush to teach kids coding. What we really need uh, to teach our very young children is actually uh, logical reasoning. Uh, for those of you who know how to program, you will know that it is really uh, the art of practicing logic. If you can think logically and if you can understand language, it is very easy to actually grasp how to, to program. So I think what is core is that we need to teach our, our, our children uh, numeracy skills. They should be able to add and subtract logical skills, which is quite difficult because you don't really uh, have a course called logic in first grade, so which will mean that you'll have to integrate it in, in, in other factors that you use, uh, uh, subjects that you teach. And, and, and thirdly, verbal skills, very, very key. You know, The use of words, precise words, is very, very key for, 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 for coding. So the fourth industrial revolution requires a person to understand those three uh, areas quite well. What do you think of the model that the Gauteng government has created, this new tech class in Takane, somewhere in Johannesburg? Um, they've basically created this high-tech school. You don't, the teacher won't have to use the chalk or the duster. The kids will all have tablets and so on and so forth. Mm. What do you think about that approach, approach, especially if some kids don't already have a strong holding on their arithmetic and their reading? Well, it's, it's obviously the use of technology is, is fundamentally good. But we should not forget that uh, learning involves writing. It's very, very key. You know, uh, there is uh, a very strong connection between writing something down and actually putting it in your mind. Mm. So as long as we do not forget the fundamentals, I think that is actually something that has to be promoted. <laughs> Professor, we've run out of time, but thank you so much for your insights and your time. That was Professor Chilitsi Mawala. He's the Vice-Chancellor at the University of Johannesburg. Nzinga?